Thank you, Congressman Cardenas, for being a leader on this issue and for inviting me to speak today. Arizona is ground zero for the federal government's failure to address our immigration crisis with a comprehensive solution. Arizona has been waiting too long already. We deserve a solution now. Comprehensive immigration reform is the number one issue about which I receive constituent feedback. Over 70 percent of the feedback encourages us to get comprehensive reform done. In short, my district wants us to get to yes. In our state, there is broad agreement among businesses and towns that conduct international trade, among schools that recruit international talent, amongst local chambers of commerce. There's agreement that comprehensive reform is an economic imperative. For this reason, Senators McCain and Senator Flake led a bipartisan effort in the Senate to pass a comprehensive bill. Our senators worked across the aisle to get this done. Senators M McCain and Flake understand that securing the border is a critical component of comprehensive reform. Controlling our borders prevents dangerous criminal cartels who traffic guns, drugs, and people from entering our country. It also creates an opportunity for those who want to do good to join us and contribute to our economy. Business leaders at home agree that comprehensive immigration reform will help us meet our labor demands. It will create opportunities for us to recruit and invest in the world's top talent. This much needed reform will fortify our international trade relationship with Mexico, that's Arizona, and one of America's largest trading partners. Mayors in my community are unified. They believe a hyper-unified, a hyper-politicized border is bad for business and it's bad for our economy. We can no longer continue to educate young dreamers, cultivate their talent, and then send them to a different country where they're competing with us. Their pathway to citizenship is vital for our economy. When hardworking families are able to come out of the shadows and take part in the American dream, our community grows stronger. Arizona's families and our economy depend on the U.S. House's commitment to a bipartisan solution. I call on my colleagues in both parties to put aside ideology and work to find a workable, practical, and pragmatic solution. Arizona has been waiting too long already. We owe it to our state to pass immigration reform this year. Again, thank you, Congressman, for yielding time to me to speak on this important issue. I yield back.